were the big obstacles, let's say, in India that you had to face or that pe the tennis players still face? I find that now the opportunities are a lot greater. The amount of tennis academies that have opened up, the gymnasiums that have opened up, the um, consciousness about fitness, health, diet, um, the equipment. Yeah, but these so are all the positives. Sports in India still lags far, far, far behind. We've got the talent, we just don't hone them to become achievers. Going back to the 80s, we didn't have all the stuff that the kids have got now. And the obstacles then are sometimes the same obstacles I see now. Professionalism and training. Diet to a professionalism. Uh, mental toughness training. Um, taking a young athlete who could be from Himachal, but the one who has actually got quick twitch fibers, his arms are down till his knees, he's got athleticism all over him, and he's got that burning desire to find a way out of that little slum that he comes from. For me, that's where our real talent lies. And that's one of the things that I find very passionate, that uh, I'm passionate about, is about when I'm done with my tennis, traveling the world and hitting tennis balls at Grand Slams, I want to nurture talent. Well, this is what I was going to come to because you've said this, you know, I, uh, apart from just achieving for myself, I want to leave uh, something behind for the country and the future players. I want to do something. But wouldn't it be the best thing to do if all the warring faculties of uh, between tennis would just come together, especially two big stalwarts like you and Mahesh Bhupati? Well, if you talk about Mahesh and myself, we've got two different styles. You've got to do it your way. So how Mahesh would train his athletes would be different to how I train my athletes. Two great athletes who have done great for their country, done great for themselves as individuals, and why not more centers? Why not have, rather than just 10 athletes come out of, of one academy, why not have 20 come out of two because academies? Because then it becomes very factionalized. I mean, what happened in the Davis Cup with, you know, the Team India sort of going, we're not going to play under your captaincy. That should not happen, right? One of the greatest things that I, I like to see is that look to the future. I mean, if you're driving a car, you've got a big windscreen in front of you. If you look in a little rear view mirror, it's made small because it's in the past. So don't dwell on the past. I like I mean, your look at the analogy. opportunities. Look at the opportunities in front of us.